Hi everybody, this is Mike Gertis with the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living with Wonder Dog Yoga. Hey, we're coming today to talk to you about being busy. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm really good about being busy. But did you ever discover that being busy isn't necessarily being productive? Mm -mm. Now I want to give you a tip. Just supposing you were going to make a trip across the country and you're driving your car. You know, we don't do that very often. But just supposing. Would you want to make sure your car was tuned up? Would you want to make sure your car was running well before you took off? Probably so. Now, let's say you weren't necessarily going that far. Let's just say you're going into the city and back. Wouldn't you still want to make sure that your car was running right before you went into the city? Wouldn't you want to make sure your tires were all pumped up? Yeah, you would. Well, that's a metaphor for us in our days. How sometimes we start off and we go busy, busy, busy through our day doing this and that. And we don't take the time to find out, are we in shape? Have we done our meditation? Aha! You know I was going to sneak this in, didn't you? Did you do your meditation? Did you do your prayer work? Now, I know a lot of people just don't get this meditation thing. They say, I'm just sitting there and I'm being still and I'm being quiet and my name, mind goes racing around. I get that. But do it anyway. Just do it anyway. It's a good training for learning to control your mind. And eventually what will happen is you'll get better at it. And what's going to come out of it? You're going to be better fit better equipped to do the things that you got to do in the race of life. That's it. That's the difference. Now, if you want to be equipped to make that race, to do the things you need to do today, begin to meditate every morning. And then do your prayer work. Now, one of the beauties we have in religious science or in our teaching of CSL is that we teach people to pray effectively. That means... Not necessarily do you get what you want, but we teach you to reveal the good that you already have. And to be guided and directed toward realizing all that spirit desires to express by beings of you. You see, life is really, really good, and life has been waiting for you to come true. Rather than your dreams waiting to come rather than waiting for your dreams to come true, come true to your dreams. Make sure every day you're equipped to run the race. Make sure every day you're divinely guided and directed by affirmative prayer. And know that wherever you go, there's a whole lot of people loving and supporting you. And Spirit loves you as it loves itself. So with that, I'm going to suggest you tune in tomorrow to hear Dr. Maxine share a wonderful message. And then, of course, on Sundays, we've got our live stream at 1030 just go to cslphilly.org, and if you'd like to make a contribution, that's a wonderful place to do that, or to check on other archives of love notes or previous Sunday talks that she's given. It's a wonderful place to go. Anyway, know your love. See you again soon. Bye-bye.